Welcome to Chalk Talk. My name is Bashar Abdullah and today I'm going to talk about MPLS-TP. MPLS-TP is a packet transport technology. It derives its technology from MPLS. Now before we explain what MPLS-TP is, let's look at its origins. MPLS is a packet transport technology that can be used to establish paths of communication in a communications network. It uses IP routing to discover network topology, as you can see here. Once the topology has been discovered, it makes use of signaling to establish those paths of communication. Once these have been established, data transfer can take place using a technique called label switching. Let's use an analogy to explain the concept a little bit better. Now imagine you wanted to travel between Ottawa and San Jose. Now imagine the numerous and diverse paths you can take to traverse between these two points. Now, in the reverse direction, there are also numerous and diverse paths to traverse between San Jose back to Ottawa. In an MPLS network, these paths are unidirectional, such that if you wanted to traverse between Ottawa and San Jose, it would have one set of LSPs, or label switch paths, and in the reverse direction, it would have a separate and independent set of LSPs. Now, in an MPLS TP network, these paths are guaranteed to be congruent, meaning they will traverse every segment of the network, both in their forward and the reverse direction. In an MPLS network, this is not the case, and this is what's referred to as non-congruent paths. And this is an important concept. One fundamental principle in MPLS is that once these paths have been established, data must follow these paths. They cannot autonomously divert from these paths. And let's look at that in our analogy. Now let's use our example of Ottawa to San Jose. Now suppose you wanted to travel on this path and your boss was to follow. And as you start your path, you end up in Denver where you experience bad weather. And so your travel has been interrupted. Now with non-congruent paths, you have no way of communicating back to Ottawa that there is bad weather in Denver and to take an alternate route. Now with congruent paths, which MPLS-TP guarantees, you do have an ability to communicate back to the source to inform your boss not to take that path and to take an alternate path. So congruency is one difference between MPLS and MPLS-TP. But there are others, and let's explore some of them. MPLS-TP makes use of MPLS, but applies constraints and has eliminated some of the complex functions that makes networks unpredictable and non-deterministic. Some of those functions are penultimate hot popping or PHP, LSP merge where more than one LSP can arrive at a particular network element and converge onto one outgoing LSP, and the last one is ECMP or equal cost multipath. By eliminating these functions in an MPLS TP environment, it makes the networks more deterministic and predictable. However, it also maintains some fundamental functions of MPLS. Some of those are MPLS pseudo-wire emulation architecture. It maintains that. It makes use of the efficient forwarding using label switching. And it provides an option to use a dynamic control plane to make deployment of MPLS TP networks operationally more efficient. MPLS TP defines additional constraints on the use of MPLS in a telecom environment using deterministic methods to set up static LSPs that are congruent, that have predefined backup paths, and adds carrier-grade OANM. The carrier-grade OANM provides fault management, performance management, and network visibility. This is the transport profile that gives MPLS TP its name. As customers deploy this technology, they will be able to derive greater value and deliver higher quality of service to their customers as they incrementally demand higher capacity, higher resiliency, and more visibility of the network. MPLS TP is yet another great Sienna solution that will change the way you compete.